Get in, nerds. We are playing Victoria 3. Uh, I was doing a War Megazode, but um, ultimately I think it's going to be two War Megazodes because we just have so much going on here. They're trying to invade us again with a much larger force, but I don't think they have adequate naval support, so I think we'll be able to win. It does seem likely that they'll punch through our, our allies here. Great Britain has once again devolved into civil war, so... You know, that's what it is. Um, things are wild over there. If we can continue to hold this line, though, we'll be good to go. Uh, it's going to be another, like, ten weeks. Okay, and then we've, we've got another South German Confederation uh, diplomatic situation. Oh, no. I think they're actually winning. Crap. Do we still have war support protection? We do. All right. I, I, don't, I think we can still win this. French Republic is in default right now. What if I, what if I bought out their debt again? Can invite them to our customs union. That would be really funny. They'd do it, too. I wonder if they'd be in our customs union kind of permanent. No, they would... They'd be in it for five years. I can't make them a protectorate. Which would be really funny if I could. 1.76 million. No, I can't, I can't afford to do that again. I think we've still got full, until they're fully occupied. There's the Omani that they really built. Um, so, and our allies are just handling this. Like, they got one battalion in this situation. One battalion of Lancers, in fact. But I, I think we've, I think we've got it sorted. Like, I don't think they have any capacity to, yeah, here we go. Excellent. Perfect. All right, so we're putting Hasa Ordesu. Okay, so all our so the French Republic is victorious. So slowly, this will resolve our situation. Hasa Ordesu is on its way back to. Our home. Uh, territory. But if there's a front. Out here. I think. Oh no. The, we got. We got them fully occupied already. Alright. Beautiful. Alright. So. That is very good. And Trucial States are free once again, which means uh, I will be able to incorporate them once the time comes. Oman is in default. That's not shocking. We're going to annex them soon anyway. Britain has once again become red. Second Ottoman fleet is fully repaired. That's wonderful. And there's the ironclad unlocked. Excellent. So once this war ends, we're going to see how our financial situation tolerates the return to peace. And meanwhile, there's all this banana stuff happening in... Oh my goodness, there's a revolt in Corsica. So this is the South German Confederation versus Prussia, basically. They keep trying to grab German states. They got Alsace-Lorraine during the revolution, which is smart, frankly. The Republic doesn't want a defensive pact with us, which you can kind of understand. All right. And 
there is Oman capitulated. So hopefully as we build up our number of convoys once again, we'll be able to get things sorted out. I'm still not building here because we're paying a ton in interest. If I resume construction, what does that do to my finances? Nope, can't afford that. That's way too much. So, we're in rank 5 now, finally. Um, Spain is trying to get up there, but uh, they just can't challenge us. I am going to continue to work on... And there's ID documents. Wonderful. I am going to continue to work on getting our debt down for the moment by just sort of keeping things chill for a bit. At this point, the local governors are happy. So I think it's... Uh, I think it's time to go to universal suffrage. Um, the industrialists will be mad, and local governors will be mad, but no one will be mad enough to actually fight about it. It's going to make it a little tougher on our finances, but getting f 4 million loyalists will be very, very good for our overall situation. <sighs> We're still getting a good amount of uh, diplomatic pact income. And now we just need to not get into any more wars. This is going to take a while to recover. Convoys used to recover a lot faster than this. Is a movement to preserve wealth voting. I don't think I'm going to need to concern myself with that, though. We're about even odds for this. So I think we can for sure win. It's going to be an interesting century. That's for sure. There's gantry queens. Wonderful. So at this point, if I move the ports over to the industrial port method, it wouldn't actually cost any oil. You know what? I think we're going to do it. So... We're going to put our shipyards in producing steamships, steel hauled ships, industrial ports, and then both of our navies are going to switch over to ironclads. They were already on ironclads. That's oh, okay. Here we go. Upgrade, but it's only the capital ships. The light ships still have a men of wars input, which is interesting. So what is that? Okay, so I do need some of my military shipyards producing regular ships. I do it on the steamships method. And where are we with clippers in the customs? Okay, so I do need to have some of my regular shipyards also producing clippers. Let's do... Egypt, Aleppo, and Middle Egypt. No, Yemen. So that... That, that number is going to increase over time. I hope. Huh. 
It's not. I don't know why we have these tiny... I don't know why the investment pool has decided to produce... to distribute out our, uh, our economy in this way. And then Mana Wars is still... Oops, Ironclad's completed. Still working. Alright, I'm gonna need to build more of those. I gotta go back to building. Sorry. It's, it's just a hard time. It's gonna be a bit. Anyway, a doctrine of iron and steam. The introduction of vessels with metal skinned hulls represents nothing more than a revolution in naval warfare. Near impervious to traditional types of shot, Admiral Daoud An Kuap assures us that Ottoman dominion of the seas will be absolute. While wooden ships with iron men might beat iron ships with wooden men, it sure does not hurt to have the armor on our side. This will make our line of battle invincible. Extra defense. Ramming. Increased offense. Reduced defense. Or the Ottoman Empire will rule the waves. Extra prestige from Navy power projection. I do like prestige, but being able to win wars is better. USA wants defensive pact. I accept. This is just what we gotta do right now. Yeah. USA wants an alliance. No, thank you. I don't, I don't desire to fight in your offensive wars, the United States. Not right now, at least. Things are going buck wild in uh, Germany. Great Britain is once again. Great Britain. Oh, it's a monarchy. It's a wealth-voting monarchy. The uh, the aristocracy managed to restore Emperor Hilbert Gilchrist. That's wild. You tell him, Great Britain? Yeah, I don't know. Our finances will continue to improve as Iran becomes more and more incorporated. God, we're getting a lot of radicals from this voting situation, but hopefully this will permanently break the uh, the political power of the local governors. Um, on the plus side, with moving to uh, moving to ironclads, we've actually moved into uh, position two in the prestige rankings, ahead of everyone except for the current reigning great power, Bengal. Um, yeah, it's the the it's a Central Asian world. And I'm feeling very peckish. I'm gonna reduce Ethiopia's autonomy. Okay, we've accepted. Get our get our color over here. And more importantly, it gives us about 9.5k more in uh, diplomatic pact income, which I'm very, very eager for because my finances are goofed. I thought going to industrial ports was really going to sort out this whole situation, but apparently I was not right. Ooh, and we're in drafting for universal suffrage. That's wonderful. Fine with steamers. Slowly stabilizing our economy. Let's actually, I think we need to build some more ports. This port situation is getting rough. We'll just, we'll distribute them out. We'll have plenty of space, but we'll put a bunch of them in Hood of Endegar. We're doing pretty well for infrastructure overall. And hopefully that will, uh... It's 
sorry, this is really, really doing doing smart Victoria 3 play hours here, but... Uh, Alright, perfect. Get those ports built. And hopefully once we get these ports built, uh, this will overall improve our situation in terms of keeping our... Uh, in terms of getting our convoys back to to normal because gosh we are just totally totally goofed on this this is really messing up our trade route situation in some pretty fundamental ways there are a bunch of germanies trying to revolt Prussia's in the midst of a religious revolt and the south german confederation is grabbing more I thought they had gotten a bunch of this territory already, but maybe I... <laughs> There's a bark from Hearts of Iron 4 that I'm actually reminded of. Uh, one of the responses to the various Mexican civil wars is the, the situation in Mexico seems too complex for an outsider to understand, and that's how I'm feeling about Germany. Um, Reduce autonomy in Montenegro, that will work. Accept. Very good. Ottoman colors all around. So at this point, I'm thinking about releasing Bosnia as a uh, as a dominion. Because again, I don't like. We've got all these European uh, these European heritage pops here, and I just it doesn't it doesn't help. Uh, uh, rather these territories well but having them incorporated is is very strong we fall back to number three to the great britain getting its stuff together which is a shame but uh you know i think we'll be able to we'll be able to live getting our ports under construction this is helping a lot with the convoy situation um I don't know. Yes, lingering rating convoy damage 2.3k here. So once we get, so we're back in we're back in the black on convoys, um, or we will be in a few more. Yeah, we're 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 good to go with convoys. So I'm probably going to turn construction back off as soon as I get the last port in Konya uh, built. Um, and then hopefully we'll be able to get our debt under control. But with that having been said, I'm pretty proud of having completed a massive war without actually increasing taxes. I'm feeling very good about that. So go ahead and we'll get that paused. And what that will do is put us way up in the black. Oh, that's, that is not as far up in the black as I was hoping. Are we having... We have some unrealized taxes. Our tax waste 9%. Wow, progress to voting. Heck, we're doing really well with universal suffrage. Why? Oh, we're having tax waste from the... All of our... All of our... our the whole upper classes are against uh, universal suffrage. But hopefully once we complete this... Uh, the push to universal suffrage, we'll be able to get that situation completely sorted out. Gosh, I really want to grab Trucial States. We can do it with just 6th lot and out army. Can't afford to fight a big war right now, though. It's going to really goof up my finances if someone decides to mess with me on this, particularly with my convoy situation being as difficult as it is. We're unlocking the monitor very soon, and I think I'm going to pull the trigger on that basically right away. Ooh, and that unlocks destroyers, which is excellent. Oh, it leads destroyers. Oh, interesting. So it turns, so the monitor is a light ship now. Um, so it has an ironclad's artillery and ammunition input. Cool. Right, let's upgrade. Our fleets. 
That's of course going to cost us some cash, but we'll see how that goes. The USA, you want to take on my national debt? It's only eh, 16.5 million. Huh. We are currently paying 25k in interest right now, and that is not great. Um, happily, wow, these territories. The 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 amount we're making from incorporating Iran is significant, but it's uh, it's going to be a minute before we're able to actually get creative again. A shallow draft solution. Designed for coastal defense operations, what monitors lack in ocean-going capabilities, they make up for in cost-effectiveness. Admiral Namik Shakir has informed the Admiralty in Constantinople that his fleet will keep any foes away from Ottoman waters. Sir, while it might look like a cheese box on a raft, I assure you that the 15-inch guns she carries in that box of hers are no laughing matter. Secure shores means secure commerce, trade centers throughput, put us orient our naval doctrine around them, additional navy defense, we don't win by having the best ships, we win by having the most. Um, this reduces Navy capabilities, so I'm going to orient the Naval Doctrine around them. Russia, why are you, why are you belligerent? I've done heck all to you. Um, right, let's check the market again. We don't need to be producing all of these mana wars now. Who's using mana wars in our N not most places? So and ironclads are a little expensive. So I think I'm going to switch my other Military shipyards are produce, producing steel walls. Yeah. Well, now none of them are profitable. Someone wants ironclads, right? Yes. A lot of countries want ironclads. Cool. Everyone can have as many ironclads as they like. Also, someone's going to want... No, yeah, Britain wants all these rifles. And then let's bring in Manowars. So we'll bring them in from Bengal. Man, I really hope the investment pool is able to keep the economy growing right now because my... Uh, my my government debt is really really high how much is actually being built 89k a week in construction goods It's not bad. The private construction sector is building a bunch of oil rigs and motor industries. That's pretty acceptable. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, it's pretty good. Still need to get to annexing a bunch of these other areas. past us again. That said, they can't be doing that well, right? Because their overall situation... Well, first, let's see the relations. Their overall situation is pretty rough. Has got to be pretty rough, what with all the... Uh, what with all the civil wars they've done had. It's got, that's got to be putting, putting, a, putting a hole in their capacity to continue to operate, right? What's our legitimacy like right now? We have an unacceptable government. It's because the industrialists are really pissed. I don't know how the heck the uh, 
the intelligentsia and the local governor has got to be in the same party, but I'm against it. Revolution, Poland, Prussian bourgeois revolt. That's wild. You know, Ottoman, the Ottoman Empire has remained remarkably stable throughout the course of all this. This is Bengal or... This is Bengal. That's not Austria-Hungary. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? That's right. Um, Austria-Hungary has remained remarkably stable through all this. You know, Austria-Hungary typically is the country that has the most, like, wars and whatnot. Yes! Wonderful. That's a good, uh, that's a good improvement. Um, I feel like every time I get, let's look at the overtime. Okay, so, so yeah, so we did have a big tick downward in radicals, which is good. I don't know when we're next going to have an election, but uh, I'm feeling overall pretty solid. And, you know, the Free Trade Party still got what they got. So how can we make them happy? Hey, Rotary Valve Engine, finally. Can't do that just yet. Don't want to fight the armed forces. I just gotta relax. I just gotta relax. And I got my my the fundamentals of my economy are strong. I just need to make sure that I don't overplay things. That said, though, if I could get more rubber in my market. I could go to elastics, and that would allow me to produce a bunch more luxury clothes, which would be nice. Mechanized steel tools would, of course, be tremendously effective. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out the tooling workshops. What's our efficiency like? I'm going to go ahead and start building again. And I think I'm going to only build half of these rubber plantations for now. This is East Borneo. We're producing, we're producing 12 units of rubber plantations. So I'm hoping that that will, we'll be able to get that done quickly. What happened? What the heck happened to my my authority. Oh, because I went to universal suffrage. Well, cripes. Suboptimal. Alright. Well, I think we're going to have to finally quit suppressing the local governors. As soon as the next election comes down, I think they'll be basically irrelevant. Anyway, that's, uh, that's sorted my my authority. Population continues to rise. Standard of living is going up very slowly. <laughs> what is let's let's do let's do we're probably gonna put a pin in the episode pretty soon. But let's take a look at some comparisons. So standard of living in Austria Hungary is higher than us. Um standard of living in France is only a little higher than us. Great Britain actually much lower. Prussia, lower. Revolutionary Prussia, about the same, interestingly. And much lower in Russia. Oh, hey. Hey. Nikolai Romanov. How is it in the United States? 11.8. So we're still, we're still doing pretty okay from a standard of living perspective compared to the rest of the world. It's not great, but it is going up. So, with 12 units of rubber plantations, or 
are going to produce 60. Oh, this was something I need to do. Whoopsie. Uh, 60 units of rubber per plantation for 12 plantation uh, for 12 plantations. That's going to be what? Big Gen Cat math hours here. It's going to be 720 units. So machine tools is going to be too much on the rubber. Textiles, however, is also going to be too much. We're going to need a lot more rubber before we can do both of those. But we can get started. So let's do a few. And that does make them more effective. And then with the textile mills, we'll do the same. We'll put a few on elastics. And that'll just, that'll get a, a market created for rubber. And that'll let the, uh, the rubber plantations start hiring. And now that we've gotten basically to the end of our construction queue, we'll be able to really get the economy as stable as we need it to be. With that having been said, though, I think it is time for me to put a pin in recording for the night. It's been a long session, very interesting. Lots of wild things have happened. We are in position number two, friends. Uh, this is our our empire, and it truly is, in a sense, global. It's been a fun time. I've had fun. I hope you all have had fun, and I will see you all on the other side.